Howdy boys and girls, it's Miss Angela here. And we're down on the ranch today getting ready to saddle up our horses and go check on the cattle. Now today is day 75, 75 days of drawing together. And today we're going to draw, you guessed it, we're going to draw a horse. Now today is not an easy day because horses have kind of their own shape and their own long faces. So grab your paper and your pencil, your crayons, your colored pencils, your markers, and let's give it a try. Remember, it's not an easy one, but I think you can do it. Are you ready? We've got our paper all ready here, and we're gonna start out with the head of the horse. We're gonna be looking at the side of the horse, not straight on, but on the side of him. So we're gonna see his whole long nose. So let's go ahead and make a, a shape right here. We're gonna go down, this is the front of his face, and we'll go out a little bit, just like that. That's the front of his face. Let's go down and make a curve in. I'm gonna see if I can see just like that. And then we're make that kind of like his little mouth and then we're gonna go underneath, give him a chin. Can you get that shape so far? It's just a long shape. But now it's getting too skinny, so we wanna make his jaw here. So we're gonna go up and around. We're gonna make a nice big round head. Now that is the shape of the horse, of the horse's head. Try it, if you don't like it, erase it, flip your paper over, keep trying until you get the shape the way you want, like it. It's not really wide, it's a very long face. Now, let's go ahead and give him an ear. He's gonna have one ear right up here, and we're gonna make it almost kind of an odd shape, flat in the front, and then curves on the back. And then we'll give it a little inside of his ear right here. We're gonna give it almost like a little half moon to the inside of his ear. We're gonna go back and do his, that, his second ear in a couple minutes, but let's go ahead and get the rest of his body in. Let's do, Let's go way up here, almost to the top of our curve, and let's go down and give him his neck. And we're gonna take it right off the paper. That's his whole, his neck right down to the front of his body. And then we'll go up here, right behind his ear, just a little bit up behind it, pretend, do our pretend line through there, and then come down, and let's go ahead and make it right down like this, almost like a giant hill. Now we've got the shape of our horse. Doing pretty good so far, everybody? All right, now I said we go back to do his other ear for a reason. Let's give him his mane. That's the hair on top of his head. Let's give him a big piece of hair right like that. And we'll have it go flip right off the point. And then while we're up there, now we're going to put in his ear. But we're only going to see the tip of his other ear. Just like that. It's kind of like when you see, what, we did a unicorn, I think, had, oh, no, we did the unicorn from the front. Don't listen to me. I'm just talking. <laughs> okay, ready? Let's keep going. Let's give him some more of his mane here. And we could just do it in almost like he's running in the wind and all these big pieces of hair are just blowing. Now you could also, since I said this, we're making a horse now, but if you wanted to turn this into a unicorn, all you have to do is add a horn of the front of here. Ooh, pretty tricky, huh? You could take anything and change it. Now, we're gonna give him kind of a, it's kind of like an eyebrow, but it's kind of a lift where his eye is. Now his eye's gonna be different. We're looking at it from the side. So we're gonna put a flat part, kind of flat in the front, just like that. And then we're gonna connect it with a V. So that is gonna be his eye. We're looking at it from the side, so we don't wanna do a big round circle. And now we're gonna give him a little nostril down here. We're just gonna give him a couple little lines, just like that. Believe it or not, that is your horse. Few simple lines and you have a horse. The whole trick is to get the right shape in there to get your horse right. Now, we are gonna go ahead and color it. There's only gonna be a couple colors involved here. So I'm gonna do this kind of, oh, you know what? So I don't lean in it, I'm gonna do the sky first because I'm gonna use a different, I'm gonna use a chalk pastel today. And a chalk pastel covers very quickly for me, but it is also very, very messy. So if I don't start at the top and work my way down, I'll lean in it and I'll make one heck of a mess here. So we're just gonna put the whole sky blue behind our horse. And now you wanna start thinking about what color you want your horse to be. I'm gonna step over here. Now you can have a white horse, you can have a brown horse, you can have a black horse, any color horse you want. I'm gonna make mine kind of a chestnut color or a brown color and then his mane or his hair is going to be dark to, or a darker brown of that color. All righty, there we go. Like I said, very few colors involved in this 
and not too much drawing. It's just the simple shape. Now, let's go ahead. I'm going to do him in a, well, before I do that, I'm going to color his eye in so I don't forget. And I'm going to leave just a little highlight in there. I'm just leaving a little tiny white spot. If you can see, there's, I left a little bitty highlight in there. All right, I'm going to use like a light brown for his fur or his, I guess his fur for his body. That's a pretty color. Now, has anybody here ever ridden a horse? When I was a little girl, I lived, um, my, my girlfriend lived up the road. She lived at the top of our hill and she had horses. And sometimes her and her sister, that her name was Julie, and sometimes Julie and her sister Linda would come down, ride down the hill, and come down to my house with their horses. And their horses were beautiful. They were really big horses. And I was a little tiny bit afraid to get on them because they were so tall, and I was just a little girl. And when I got on them, it felt like I was sitting way up on top of the world. So... I was a little scared, but it was very cool to see these big horses come into my parents' front yard just to pick me up and take me for a ride. I was pretty lucky, wouldn't you think? So now I will take a, a different color brown, and I'm going to do his hair in kind of this color. I like this. This is kind of a pretty color. And I can color each one of these in this color, and if you want them to be different, you can. And if you are just being crazy and turning my horse into a unicorn, you can color the fur or the mane any color. You can have it rainbowed. So you could do it any way you want. You could do it both ways. You could practice this and make it a horse once and draw it again and make it into a unicorn. It's really up to you. I've told you every single time I talk to you that you are the artist so you can do it your way. Now I'm going to take a little bit of pink and I'm going to put it in the ear there just so we have a difference. And then because I colored over my eye a little bit, I'm going to go back in and kind of spruce it up a little bit, put a little black back in there because I kind of went right over the top of it. Okay, folks, that is it. It's a very simple drawing, but if you get the shape of it, you'll be able to draw a horse anytime you want. You could turn it into a unicorn. It could be horses. You could have different, more horses. That they're all running together. So give this a try, everybody. It's fun. It's really fun. So I will see you tomorrow. And until tomorrow, do what I tell you every day. I want you to be safe. I want you to wash your hands. I want you to listen to your parents. I want you to be creative. And I want you to be kind to each other. Now, join me tomorrow because tomorrow is going to be another fun drawing. We'll see you then, everybody. Giddy up. Giddy up, pony. Giddy up.